once the essential oils um, pass through the stomach and the intestines, it enters the blood and travels through the portal vein, which is going to take it to the liver before entering systemic um, blood circulation. This is important to know because in the liver, um, some of the essential oils will be partially metabolized and change into met metabolites. Metabolites sometimes can have a different or increased um, therapeutic benefits that you would not normally um, experience if you put on this essential oils topically or breathe them in um, aromatically. So it's very interesting how the pathway that the essential oil goes through your body has the effect on um, how it's going to affect your body um, therapeutically. So otherwise, um, the untouched um, essential oils go ahead and travel systemically through the rest of your body. And once in the body, they can have the systemic effect um, by promoting the therapeutic benefit that you um, that's inherent in that specific essential oil that you were taking. And of course, after four, three to six hours in a healthy body, they are fully metabolized. It take, can take up to 14 hours in an unhealthy or an obese body to fully metabolize those. So people who are unhealthy or obese should take less essential oils um, on a less regular basis. And um, they are, you know, the, the rest of those are secreted through your kidney or urine or they become part of you. So, okay, essential oils, um, the main benefits of internal use, why would you, you would take them internally? Because for your digestive system, if you have any digestive things that you want to address, um, you want to get it into your digestive system, perfect. You can also rub it on onto your tummy if you're looking for your digestive problems. Mouth or throat problems, or your organs, if you want to like maybe cleanse your organs in a detox blend or something. Um, I have another um, tip for you. Use a glass bottle that looks exactly like mine. Glass uh, water bottles are a must for essential oils, or, or, or metal, just not plastic, right? Because some essential oils can break down petrochemicals, such as plastics, over a period of time. So I have to drink some water just to show you. Because I saw it and then I felt thirsty. Um, so it's best to use glass to store your essential oils. And that's why. See, now you know. Annoying is half the battle. G.I. Joe. So I'm a big water drinker, right? And I don't think I have had a soft drink for a long time or soda. I love putting essential oils into my water. Not only for a therapeutic benefit, benefit but their flavor as well. So I have a few recommendations for you. Um, these are my favorite things to put in uh, water. Digestive blend, peppermint, grapefruit. I'm grateful for grapefruit and lemon. The grapefruit's a really good metabolic blend. So on days where I do a lot of exercise, I put that in to help burn the fat. So the only, only member, only take essential oils internally when it makes sense to. Many people are so accustomed to popping a pill for every ill and you know they take essential oils you know whenever just take it when you need it. Um, with essential oils it's kind of a new paradigm and I have another video on that so consider utilizing your essential oils topically and aromatically as well so um, sometimes people are used to taking things to address certain issues but just remember there are three methods and we're gonna talk about the third method next. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.